Hello everyone! In this video we're going to have a look at a quick way to create rock assets using VDB. I'll be showing you all the settings, but in case you want the file with all the custom textures and model, it will be available on my Patreon. So this is just a quick example that I created, but that I think it, it has some interesting shapes and details. Ok, I started using a grid with a few subdivisions, extrude it, and then use the mountain top to have a more interesting shape to fit to the VDB setup. Now, with the VDB from polygons we convert it to VDB, and it's where we can set the resolution and the clipping of the volume or bands. Next we have the volume VOP, where we're creating the noises, that I'll be exploring in a minute. And finally we convert it to polygons, that also helps to smooth out the shape and just remove any small floating parts at the end. Ok, let me just reduce the resolution so we can work a bit faster. So this is my setup in the volume VOP, only two noises and other two detect as distortion. The basic idea is to create uh, an add node and add the incoming density with the noise and output the result. Not forgetting to connect the incoming position to the position attribute of the noise. Then you can start to play with the noise types and see which one fits better. There is room for happy accidents too. So the next step would be to play with the frequency of the noise, which is like the tiling of a texture. With a simple constant node and a divide by constant you can have a more intuitive control. If you increase the value it will produce a bigger noise and the other way around. Another thing you can do is to add a multiply constant to control the overall effect of the resulting noise. The last step of this setup, after you have the main noise, is to create a simple noise to distort it. This is a common used setup using a turbulence or a AA noise to distort the unified static. And that's pretty much what I have done here. You can identify here the distortion noise and then the main noise with the frequency and multiply controls. The same goes for the second main noise but this time using a fit range node to control the min and max values that will help to create different outputs. As for the frequency, I am also playing with the original values, mainly stretching the y-axis so it creates this particular look. The extra node here is a transform matrix that allows you for instance to rotate the noise. It can be interesting for some effects. As for the main noise I am using Manhattan Cellular F2F1 and using the complement attribute to invert the result. And that is the simple setup for this asset. Then I imported the Geo in ZBrush and did some Z remeshing, auto UVs and exported a low poly and a displacement map. Then in Solaris I am bringing the asset in, adding some subdivisions to the geometry, a material, light, camera and render settings. I am also doing a basic animation to render a turntable. So yeah, that was it, another rock cliff tutorial and probably not the last. Hopefully I'm not repeating myself. Thank you for watching and check out my Patreon and Gumroad if you'd like to support the channel. See you soon.